Hello, hello. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you. And you? I'm great. I'm great. Thank you very much for asking. ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo le ayudo? Is everything good? Good. Very good. Pretty good. Okay, nice. That is really good to hear. Mr. Alvarenga, hello. Hello, hello. How are you doing? I'm fine. Okay, that is really good to hear. Well, guys, eh, bienvenidos a la sesión número cuatro. Okay, so es la última de esta semana. Okay, so tomorrow you will have a little vacation. Okay, and uh, tell me, ¿cómo vamos, chicos? ¿Empezaron a trabajar en la plataforma? Are you already working? Sí, ya terminé la primera parte. Ay, excelente. That is really, really good to hear. Porque de hecho ahora comenzamos con la segunda sección. Okay, so that is good. Uh, Mr. Alvarenga, what about you? Uh, only one section. Ah, okay, I see. But, um, well, so, vamos a empezar ahora con la número dos, all right, para que empiece a familiarizarse. Y durante el fin de semana, si tiene un poquito de tiempo, avancemos lo más que podamos, right? Para que vayamos eh, okay. adelante, all right? That is really good. Eh, Carolina, yes. hello. Gracias por unirse tú. Hello. Hello. How are you doing? Is everything good? Um, uh, I'm fine. You're fine? Okay, I'm that's fine. really good. Okay, <laughs> nice to hear. Okay, so vamos a... Um, a dar inicio, okay, to session number four and uh, to some of the activities that we have for today. Okay, uh, first of all, les comparto acá mi pantalla. Um, I really hope you can see this. Okay, and uh, let me share this with you. So this is session number four, okay, and um, this is the objective of today's class. So by the end of this class, you will learn how to use have plus noun and field plus adjective to express health problems. Additionally, you will practice a conversation, okay? So today, vamos a eh, iniciar session number two, okay? And uh, part of this section, we are going to, um, you know, learn a little bit about illness, okay? Health problems, partes del cuerpo, parts of the body as well. Uh, que para los que ya iniciaron la sección número eh, dos, all right, ya um, well, practicaron un poquito el vocabulario, right? Miguel, thank you very much. Gracias por unirse. Thank you for being here, all right? So, what we are going to do uh, just to get us started is this. We are going to start with the parts of the body, okay? So, first of all, we have here a little exercise that says identify the parts of the body all right so you are going to um take a look at this just for a brief uh, moment okay and tell me what part of the body all right this represents for example take a look at the first picture right here what is this so if you pay attention we have two options we have hair and we have mouth what is this Mouth. Thank you, Mr. Alvarenga. So this is mouth, all right? Now let's take a look at this one. We have uh, fingers and we have hands. What is this? Finger. Finger. Okay, finger, very good. We have head and hair. What is this? Hair. Uh, hair, yeah, the second, right? So it's second. cabello, hair. that is hair. Thank you. All right, then we have knee and we have toe. What is this? Take a look. Knee. Exactly, this is knee, all right? We have head and we have neck. What yeah. do you think this yeah. is? Okay, so this is head, exactly. Now we have arm, this little part. Arm or shoulder, what is this? Shoulder. Shoulder, Sh very good. Uh, what about this one, what is this? Eye. Eye, Eye. very good. And what about this one? Toe. So, exactly. So, take a look at this. We have fingers. Yeah, these are fingers from your hands. Okay. And we have toes right here. Yeah, from your uh, feet. Okay. 
Foot is one, feet are both, all right? Uh, what is this? Hand. Hand. All right, that's okay. What about this one? How do you call this part? Arm. All of this, exactly, that's your arm, right? What about this one? Ear. Ear. Okay, ear, very good, that's okay. What about this one? Foot. Foot. Exactly, this is your foot, okay. Uh, foot is one, but if we change the O for E, like feet, that will be both, okay? So pies, like plural, would be uh, feet, foot and feet. Now, what is this little part? You can see the arrow right here. What is this? Neck. Neck. Snake. Very good. That's okay. Uh, and this one? Leg. 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 Exactly. What about this one? Nose. Nose. Very good. Now, do you normally have problems with any part of your body? Tenemos problemas con alguna parte del cuerpo? Do you have like any problems like... Uh, you have a pain, que les duele, like, um, do you have problems with your shoulders? Or tienen dolores en la cabeza? Do you have problems with your uh, head, all right? Or is there any part of your body que normalmente les duele, like from here? I mean, I know that we have, for example, hair, right? No nos duele el hair. But for example, we have arms, <laughs> shoulder, neck, okay, finger. So, ¿les duele alguna parte del cuerpo normalmente? Shoulder left. Okay, so the left shoulder. Okay, thank you. Anybody else? Alguien más? Hair. Okay, hair. That's all right. Any other? Neck. Okay, neck. All right, very nice. Okay, very good. That sounds great. Now let's take a look. These are just like parts of the body, okay? Son solamente las partes del cuerpo. But when we are talking about the parts of the body, we also talk about a health problems, okay? Problemas de salud that we normally have. And uh, before practicing a conversation, okay, we are going to uh, learn different health problems that a person can have, all right? So part of these health problems, let me share my screen with you. Okay, so I hope you can see this, right? So part of the, the problems that we can have, all right, are the, for example, let's take a look at this. For example, take a look at this. The question is, what's the matter, okay? So everybody, repitamos, what's the matter? What's the matter? Or what's the matter. the matter? Thank you. That sounds great. Or we can say what's wrong? Como cuál es el problema? What's wrong? What's the matter? Or what's wrong? Okay. Like for example, if I see a person con un dolor in this part, all right, of the body, I can ask the person, hey, what's the matter? Hey, what's wrong? Yeah, so y me estoy preguntando sobre el problema de salud. So that is the point. What's the matter, right? Take a look at the picture. So what's the matter? ¿Qué le sucede? What's the matter? Now this person says, I have a backache. All right? So repitamos. Let's repeat. I have a backache. I have, I have a backache. Okay, and it is this part of the body. So a backache. Or a pain, un dolor, a pain in the back. That is another way to say it, all right? Now, let's take a look. Let's take a look at the following picture. So, what's the matter, okay? Take a look at the girl and take a look at this little thing. What is the name? What is the name of this? Any idea? No. This is a tooth, right? Oof. This is a tooth. So the girl is like, oh, it hurts, okay? So what is the illness? This one is called, I have tooth, yeah, tooth. This is the name of this little thing. So the girl says, I have a toothache. So everybody, let's repeat. I have a toothache. 
I have, I have, I have, a, have a toothache. Okay, now let's repeat this tooth. part only. Tooth. 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 Okay, saquemos un poquito la lengua here. Tooth. 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 Now let's repeat this. Ache. 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 Toothache. 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 I have a toothache. I have a toothache. All right, very good. There we go. That's excellent. All right. So, si tenemos dificultades con alguno, repitámoslo. So, repeat it until you make it. All right. So, let's continue. Take a look at the following picture. All right. Oh, the girl. Okay. Well, this person. All right. It's like touching this little part. How do you call this little part? What is this? Her. Ear. Okay. Ear. This is ear. So ear. What, what's the matter? Hey, what's ear. the matter? Ear. Yeah. Okay, very good. I have ear. Exactly. The person says, now let's take a look at this. This is ear. This is ache. Ear. Ache. Earache. Exactly. Ear. I have an earache. Tengo un dolor de oídos. I have an earache. So everybody, let's repeat. I have an earache. I have an earache. Ear, ache. Ear, ache. Now, together, ache. together, earache. Earache. Ear there ear we ache. go. Exactly. Ear there we go. Now, let's continue. Let's take a look at the following. Um, now, take a look at the girl. What's the matter? What's the matter here? I have... Uh, how um head head um, headache perfect that's great i have a now let's take a look at this this is ache ache so ache. the part of the body this part of the body is heavy yeah head so, headache 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 so headache. i have a headache i have a I headache, have a headache. So, if it is possible, vayámonos tocando la parte del cuerpo, all right, so you can remember. So, I have a headache. I have a headache. I have a headache. Acabamos de ver lo Siempre del dolor, salió. el dolor de, de dientes, yeah? How do you say dolor de dientes? I have a... I have a... I have a... Toothache. A toothache. <laughs> exactly. A toothache. I have a toothache. Very good. Now, si me duele el oído, I have an... Earache. Earache. Nice. Very good. I have an earache. Exactly. Now, let's take a look at the following. So, what's the matter? So, the boy is really sick and he says, I have a high temperature. I have, I have a high temperature. Very good. Temperature. Or I have fever, right? That's another way to say it. I have a high temperature or I have fever. Tengo fiebre. I have a fever. High temperature. Mm -hmm. All right. So now I just have a couple more for you. Oh, this is very common, I think. Yeah. So take a look at this um, health problem all right and the person says i have i, I have a stomach i have a now, now let's go back to this part this is ache ache this is a stomach 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 this is a stomach cake stomach cake stomach cake good very nice not a stomach chacha right this is a stomach a stomach, <laughs> a stomach cake. all right now good now, let's take a look at this. Um, there are just like some other problems. So, cuando yo digo, yo tengo dolor de cabeza, we simply say, I have. I have, y luego, ah, I have a headache, I have a toothache, I have an earache. Podemos utilizar a or an, yeah? I have um, a stomachache, I have a backache, etc. But this person, take a look at this person. So, it no es que tenga un dolor, exactly. So, there are also other ways. Like, for example, you can say, I am blind. Let's repeat, I am blind. I am, I am blind. blind. All right, very yeah. good. And I'm blind. I am blind means, take Zero. a look. He has a stick, yeah? 
he has a dog, so I am blind. That means? Ciego. Yeah. Ciego. Exactly. Yeah, I am blind. So, no puedo ver, okay? So, that would be I am blind. Um, they are not exactly health problems, okay? But they are like some problems that are important to know as well. Take a look at this one. So, the person cannot hear, all right? And the person says, I am deaf. Yeah. So, deaf. I am deaf. Deaf oh, means yeah. no logro escuchar, all right? I am deaf. I cannot hear. I am deaf. Exactly. I am deaf. There we go. So, in general, all right, we are talking about uh, health problems here. So, we have just one more and we will finish with this. Okay. So, take a look at this person. The person says, I have a cold or I have flu. So, let's repeat. I have a cold. I have, I have a cold. cold. I have flu. I have, I have flu. flu. Excellent. So, that means yo tengo. Tengo... Um, you know, tengo gripa, all right, I have flu, or tengo un resfriado, so I have a cold, I have flu. Um, so, are, uh, are we okay with the vocabulary? Do you have any questions so far, or are we perfect? Is everything good? Preguntas hasta el momento, do you have any question? No question. No questions. No. Awesome. Okay, awesome. That's really, really good. Now, coming back, let's recap some of the most common health problems. So, repasemos los like quickly. How can I say, tengo dolor de cabeza? That would I, be. I have, I have headache. 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 So, let's recap some of the vocabulary, okay? Number one, we have head. Yes. And then, para decir dolor, I simply add headache. ache and I put it together. Ache. So this is head. Headache. Headache. Exactly. Headache. All right. So that, that's the way we have it. Allow me just a second. Okay. Here we go. So we have head and then we have ache. Headache. 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 Okay. How do you say oil? Ew. 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 So this is ear. This ear is How do you say espalda? Backpack. Back 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 I have a backache. I have a backache. Very good. How do you say diente? Like here. Toothache. Excellent. I have, I I have I have a toothache. A toothache, exactly. I have a toothache. toothache. How do you say estomago? I have a stomach. Stomache. Stomach. Stomache. Stomach. 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 Cake. Exactly, stomach cake. So if you pay attention when we have illness, cuando tenemos enfermedades or health problems like this, we say I have. I have a headache. I have an earache, I have a toothache, I have a stomachache, I have a backache, all right? So, me, yo tengo un dolor in this part of the body. That will be the translation, all right? Now, um, I have a little conversation for you, okay? This is, a, by the way, this is in the platform, okay? Esto es en la sección número dos, so you can take it from there, or you can have it right here. Just let me make this a little smaller so you can like take a look at this one. All right. Um, and the person says, I feel homesick. All right. So I feel homesick is me siento mal, extraño mi casa. I miss my country. Okay. So I feel homesick. So first of all, let's practice the conversation. Uh, just allow me a second. Voy a poner sus micrófonos in mute. Okay. And if you have any question, uh, levantemos la mano, please. So remember that you have an option there. So uh, we have listen and practice. We have Brian, we have Kenichi, all right? And Brian says, hey Kenichi, how are you? Kenichi says, oh, I'm not so good, actually. Brian says, why? What's the matter? So remember that what's the matter is cuál es el problema. Yeah, so what's the matter? ¿Qué te pasa? ¿Cuál es el problema que tienes? All right, when we are um, asking about illness. And Kenichi says, well, 
I have a headache and a backache. Maybe you have the flu. So this guy says, what is the meaning of flu? Flu is like here, right? In your nose. So you have the flu. Um, no, I think I just feel a little homesick for Japan. Brian says, that's too bad, but maybe I can help. Let's have lunch at that new Japanese restaurant. And Kenichi says, that's a great idea. Thanks, Brian. I feel better already. Yeah. So first of all, I have some questions for you. Can you tell me uh, three illness, three health problems that are mentioned in the, in the conversation? What are the three health problems that are mentioned? What are some of the problems? Headaches. Okay. Headaches. Headache. Uh, Backache. Back Backache. Flu. Flu. Very good. So headache, backache, and flu. Exactly. So he was feeling homesick. En realidad no es que estuviera enfermo, okay? He was feeling homesick. He misses his country. Extraña un poquito a su país, right? So he was feeling, um, the guy says, I think I just feel a little homesick. So, extraño a uh, Japón, right? I miss Japan. So, we are going to practice the conversation. Please, everybody, repeat after me. Hey, Kenichi, how are you? Hey, hey Kenichi, Kenichi, Kenichi how, how, are you? how are you? Oh, I'm not so good, actually. Oh, oh I'm, I'm not, not so, so good, good actually. actually. Why? What's the matter? Why? Why? What's the matter? What's the matter? Well, I have a headache. Well, well I have a headache. And a backache. And a backache. And a backache. And a backache. Maybe you have the flu. Maybe, Maybe you, have you have the flu. No, I think I just feel a little homesick for Japan. No, no, I, I think I just feel a little homesick for Japan. For Japan. For Japan. That's too bad. That's, that's, too that's too bad. bad. But maybe I can help. By maybe, By maybe, maybe I, can I can help. help. Let's have lunch at that new Japanese restaurant. Let's, Let's have, have lunch, lunch at that, at that new, new Japanese, Japanese, Japanese restaurant. restaurant. That's a great idea. That's, that's a great, great idea. idea. Thanks, Brian. Thanks, Thanks Brian. 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 I feel better already. I feel, I feel better, better already. 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 Very good job. Excellent. That's great. Okay, so we are just going to um, take a look at well this part, okay? And uh, let's go to the grammar focus before we practice, okay? So this one says, have plus now. One more time. There are two questions when we are talking about illness, okay? One of the questions is, uh, what's the matter or what's wrong? So what's the matter? ¿Cuál es el problema? What's wrong? ¿Cuál es el problema? ¿Qué te pasa? All right. Um, allow me just a second. Okay, there we go. And uh, so if I am using I have, puedo decir qué es lo que me duele. All right. So I have a headache. I have a backache. I have the flu. And also we can use feel, but feel is a you know, como se siente, right? So, how are you? How do you feel? So, como te sientes? Como estas? And, well, we can say, I feel homesick. Extraño mi país, okay? I feel homesick. Extraño mi casa, for example. I feel better. Me siento mejor. I don't feel well. No me siento bien. I don't feel well. So, when we are, you know, using adjectives, so we can use a couple, for example, sick, yeah, I feel sick. Um, I feel awful. So all of them, todos son negativos. So si no se sienten bien, you can say, I feel sick. I feel awful. I feel terrible. I feel miserable. And we have some positive adjectives. For example, I feel fine. I feel great. I feel terrific. Terrific is good. Terrific means great. Or I feel fantastic. So it is really important to remember if it is positive or negative. 
So if I ask you, hey, how are you today? How are you? So you can tell me if you are feeling great. I am terrific, teacher. I am fine. I am fantastic. Or if you are feeling down, if you are feeling with fever, you can tell me, um, well, I feel sick. I feel terrible, teacher. I feel miserable, all right? So they are, to, um, they are used to express how you are feeling, all right? So are we good so far? Estamos bien? Are we okay? Any questions? Si tenemos preguntas, I'm here to help you. So levantemos la manita y con gusto. I can stop, all right? So if we don't have questions, we are going to practice a little bit, all right? So first of all, let's take a look at this part. Um, let's go over health problems right here. Well, here you have like um, pretty much more information about it. So how are you today? Positive, negative, yeah? So everybody, how are you today? Como están, how are you today? So it is not just like, oh, I am fine. I mean, that's okay. Pero hay muchas más formas de responder, yeah? I feel fine, I feel good, I feel great, I feel fantastic. So Mercedes, how are you today? I feel fine. Okay, thank you very much, that's great. Um, let me see, oh, I see more people here. Ms. Rauda, Rocio Rauda, tell me, how are you today? I'm fine, good. All right, so you're fine as well. All right, thank you. We can use more. I am good, I feel good, I feel great. So try to use others, okay? Me, I see Blanca de Vasquez. Hello, hello. Maybe she's not there right now. Uh, oh, hello, there you teacher. go. Hello, teacher. I am Blanca. Hello, hello <laughs> I, there. How are you? I How feel, are you? I feel awful. Oh, awful? Really? Yes. Why? Why? Oh, take a look. Awful is negative. So awful is me yes. siento mal. Really? Are you sick? What's wrong? Uh, um, uh, Do you have fever? Do you have no, flu? I don't Do you have, have a headache. I have flu. Oh, I'm I sorry. <laughs> That's too bad. Okay. Well, Perfect. Practicamos el vocabulario. That's excellent. All right. So, well, I hope you feel better tomorrow. Okay. Uh, Ceci, how are you? How are you today? How are you, teacher? I'm great. What about you? Um, I am... No, I'm not. I feel great. I feel great. Okay. Very good. That's okay. Uh, Thank you. All right, uh, Mr. Flores, how are you today? I feel fantastic. Perfect, that's all right. So if you pay attention, you know, these phrases are super useful because normalmente nos quedamos in fine, but you can use others. I feel great, I feel fantastic, okay? Or I feel awful, all right? So. Right now, we are going to practice this vocabulary, okay? And we have here the instruction. Complete the blank spaces and write a short conversation. So this, all right, vamos a hacerlo en pareja. So we are going to work in pairs and we are going to create a short conversation. So let's practice the vocabulary. The first person says, How, what, hello, how do you feel? And this person is sick, so not so good. Okay, and then we have what's the exactly what's the matter? I have y podemos inventarnos algo. Okay, I have the flu, I have a headache, I have a stomachache, and then necesito decirle lamento escucharlo. I am 
me hace falta algo acá. From the previous conversation that was, I am sorry to hear that. I am sorry to hear that. Lamento escucharlo. I'm sorry to hear that. So, intentemos practicar this short conversation, okay? De tal manera que no salga natural. Try to make it um, tan natural as possible. Y que este, I'm sorry to hear that, suene que realmente lamentamos, right? Like, if you tell me I have a headache, oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah? Lamento escucharlo. I'm sorry to hear that. I have a terrible uh, fever. Oh, I'm really sorry to hear that. So, intentemos hacerlo natural, all right? So, everybody, we are going to make some groups, okay? Tenemos la conversación. Do you take a picture? Yes. Tomaron, ¿Le tomaron foto? Did you take a picture? Yes? No. No. No? Okay, no. let me share this no. one more time. It is really easy and it is really short. There you go. There you are. Okay, everybody, so we are going to make, um, we are going to get in pairs, okay? And let's practice, okay? So practice with your partners and si les duele algo, all right, let's use the vocabulary. Y si no, solamente creemos, all right? So here we go in three, two, and one. Hello, hello. Not so good. What's the matter? I have a head headache. I'm sorry to hear that. Um. Blanca? Hello, Alfredo. How do you feel? Not so good. What's the matter? I had a headache. I'm sorry to hear that. Thank you. Hello, hello. Hello, hello teacher. Hello, teacher. Derek. Very good job. I was listening to you guys. Guys, how come you don't have a picture? No los conozco. I cannot see your face. <laughs> I only see your names there. <laughs> okay, that's all right. Okay, no problem. That's okay. So remember, let's practice. Uh, okay, intentemos hacerlo bien natural. Okay, so hey, hello, Blanca. How are you? Um, not so good. What's the matter? I have a terrible headache. Okay, so try to make it natural. If it is possible, no lo leamos, okay? Or look at it and try to say it, okay? So, para que le salga un poco más natural, all right? Very good job. You're doing a good job. That is nice. So, continue practicing. Cambiamos las ines so you can practice, okay? And uh, okay. voy a visitar al otro grupo, all right? I'll be okay. right back. I have 
Headache. I'm sorry to hear that. Okay. Ahora le preguntamos a... Um, ¿Cómo se llama? Jader. Jader. <laughs> sí. How do you feel? Not so good. What's the matter? I have a headache. I am sorry to hear that. Okay. All right, very good. That sounds great. It's very good, very good. Uh, just don't forget that it's like, uh, I'm sorry, right? Pongamos un poquito de emoción, okay? So, I am sorry to hear that. So, okay. I am sorry to hear that, okay? I mean, uh, so they can like um, say, you know, para que se sienta un poquito más natural, all right? So, I am sorry to hear that. Lamento escucharlo. I'm sorry, como que realmente le duele. You know? sí. Okay, that's okay. Very nice. I am nice. sorry to hear that. Okay. I... <laughs> Lo intentaré. No, very good. You're doing a good job. Excellent. Okay, very nice. So let's continue practicing. All right, I will monitor the other groups. Very good. Okay. Okay. Ah, ¿Quién me pregunta? Yo pregunto. How do you feel, Mayra? Not so good. Hi, teacher. Hello. Hello, hello. Uh, could, you, could you talk to Miss, Mrs. Cardoza? No. Hello. Hola. Oh, hello. There you are. Excellent. So, no la pude, no pude hablar con usted before. <laughs> okay. So, good. ¿Ya practicaron, girls? Did you practice? Okay. Yes. Very good. Uh, may I listen to you? So, me, well, Erica, how are you? Um, fine. Okay, very good. Dígame que le duele algo, right? So, okay. <laughs> I have a headshot. Oh, you have a headache. Okay, head. Headache? Headache. Oh, headache. I'm, I'm sorry to hear that. Okay. So, but tomorrow, I hope you feel better, okay? So, I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> it's like, lamento escucharlo. So, I'm sorry to hear that, all right? Uh, Mercedes, what about you? Tell me, how are you today? Nice. <laughs> nice? Nice. Erika, Erika, it's night because I have free day for the weather. Oh, are you? Oh, Erica is a teacher. I am teacher. Yeah, I remember now. That is great. That is <laughs> awesome. Enjoy it. But uh, Erica, really, do you have a headache? No. No. Oh, okay. No. I'm glad to hear that. Okay. <laughs> so, imagine. Imaginémonos que tienen un dolor. All right, and you are. Sleeping. So let's continue practicing, all right? Voy a I have a two to take. <laughs> oh, sorry to hear that. Maybe you <laughs> can take a, um, how do you call it? An, an event, yeah? So maybe you can take an, an event, okay? <laughs> That's all right. Okay, very good. So continue, girls. I'll, we will okay. hear right back, okay? How do you feel? Not but so good. This, uh, what's wrong? I have a headache. I, uh, I'm sorry to hear that. Okay. How do you it's feel? A, uh, not so good. What's wrong? Um, uh, I have a flu. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Okay. Excellent. Wow. That's very good. Very fluent. Very nice pronunciation. Very good job. That is really good. good Estomago, job, ¿cómo se pronuncia, teacher? Estomach. I have a stomach. Estomach cake. Estomach cake. Yeah, that's correct. Y siempre correct. que se le agrega a H, se pronuncia como cake o, o como que fuera una K al final. 
No, what happened is that that is pronounced like ache. Ache. Yeah, so when you say head, headache, stomach, stomach ache, back, back ache. Uh -huh. So it is the sound of ache that means dolor, right? So, but, eh, pero no siempre se le puede agregar solo ache, all right? There are different mm -hmm. ways to, to talk about pain, all right? But good. So far, you're doing a Te really good job. Teacher, eh, de esta oración, how do you feel, not so good, podemos cambiar a what do you wrong, lo podemos cambiar pa, por how do you feel. How do you feel? Yeah. What's wrong is en sí, cuál es el problema, right? Like, what's uh -huh. wrong and what's the matter, yeah? And how do you feel? En los dos primeros es, vamos a contestar en feel, ¿verdad? En, en how. En las primeras dos vamos a contestar en how. Um, que yo tengo tal cosa. Y el otro es como me siento. That is only an example, Ceci. No necessarily like that. Uh, the question is, how do you feel? So, ¿cómo se siente? Uh -huh. oh, well, because of that, yes. So, I feel good. I feel bad. Uh -huh, I correcto. Feel... Por, uh -huh. Porque en uno le, le podemos preguntar porque puede estar mal por, no por enfermedad, sino que por un sentimiento. Yeah, exactly. So that is fine. So what's wrong? ¿Qué te pasa? ¿Qué tienes? Right? All right. Uh -huh. That is the way it works. Okay. Very good. You're doing it. Hello, hello, hello there. How was the practice? I almost listened to everybody. Miguel, tell me, how was your practice? My oh, wait, God. I cannot hear you. Miguel, Miguel, hello. Hello, hello. hello how was your practice, Miguel? Um, how, I'm sorry, no, no I was escuching. Sure, ¿cómo estuvo su práctica? How was your practice? Sí. Was it good? Did you practice good. a lot? Yes? It's good, it's good. Okay. very good. Okay, so the excellent. Group, the group is very good. Oh, the group was nice. Okay, that is important yeah. too, that you all practice. Okay, very good. Now, let's just continue with this part, okay? Um, acabamos de revisar illness, all right? Also, we check the use of have and the use of feel. Now, let's practice this. First of all, use the correct form of the verb. Hagamos un repaso really quick of simple present tense, yeah? We have have and also has. We, we, um, we need like some specific pronouns, yeah, to use have. But first of all, help me please with has. When do we use has? When is third person? Great, that's really good. When it is third person, and third person means he, she, she and it, it. All right. So whenever you have them, we are going to use has. Same thing when you have feels. Okay, feels is for third person too. He, she, and it. All right. So this is about um, you know illnesses and using have or feel properly. So I will give you two or three minutes to complete the exercise that you have right here, okay? So you can take a picture or you can complete it on your novel, all right? So use the correct form of the verbs.
Hello, hello. Are we about to finish? Ya casi terminamos. Finish. Okay, finished. Perfect, really good. Thank you, thank you. Anybody else? Okay, I'll give you just one more minute for those que todavía están, you know, working on that. Okay, so let's check the answers uh, that we have here together. All right. So number one, let's take a look at number one. So what can we use? He. He has. He has a cold. Very good. That is nice. Uh, next one. They. Have. They have. Have headaches. Very good. Headache. That is okay. Headaches. Let's take a look at this one. They. They have. have. Uh, stomach. Stomach. They have stomach, stomach aches. Stomach. Stomach aches. Stomach. 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 Very good. What about they? They. They feel. They feel, they feel sick. 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 They feel sick. Very good. What about this one? He. He, he feels so fine. fine. Oh, he feels because it's third he person feels. singular. Yeah, he feels fine. Feels. What about this one? I. I, I feel, feel sick. Feel sick. I feel sick. Very good. That is great. That's really good. Okay, so we have a couple of minutes and what we are going to do right now is this. We are going to write, okay, a list of the most common illness, the most common uh, health problems that you have. Okay. So let me just share right here. Let me share what we are going to be doing. All right, allow me just a second here. So what we are going to do uh, right now is this little part, okay? So we are going to make a list of the most common things that you normally have, okay? When we are talking about illness. Okay? So I, for example, we are going to use also um, like usually, I usually, and cuando quiero decir me da dolor de cabeza, so we can use get, all right? I usually get headaches. I have a headache, es como me duele ahorita, right? I have a headache. But if I say get, es como me da. I usually get headaches. Usualmente me dan dolores de cabeza, right? I usually get a toothache, all right? So I usually get a toothache. So we can also use get to say me da, all right? De vez en cuando me da un dolor here or there, all right? So I am going to give you like two more minutes, okay? And I want you to write a list of the most common health problems that you get, all right? Um, you can say, for example, I usually, all right, feel, sick. So I usually feel sick. All right. I, you know, I never get a stomach ache, for example, but this is not possible, right? So I guess I cannot say I never get a stomach aches. Yeah, because no es que nunca me da dolor de, de estómago, right? So this is just an example. So I want you to write your own examples, okay? What are the most common illness that you get? 
Uh, are we okay? Are we good? Is it clear? It's clear. Clear. Okay, perfect. So I will give you two minutes. Write your own examples. Okay, and then we will share them. So I am right here. If you have like questions or something, please let me know. Hello, hello. Are we ready there? Yes. Mm. Are we ready, guys? Yep. Okay. Perfect. That's really good. Okay, so I am going to start a couple of people or I don't know if I have any volunteer so you can uh, share with us. Jather? Okay. Thank you. I, I often get leg, leg ache. Oh, that would be a pain in the leg. Okay, a pain in the leg. All right. Oh. Okay. All right, thank you. What else? Thank you. Anybody else? Volunteers? Uh, we have uh, Mayra. Mayra, hello. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, Blanca, hello. Tell me, Blanca. Thank you very much. Hello, teacher. I always get uh, feel good. Oh, you always feel good? Yes. Oh, okay, perfect. That's okay. So I always feel good. That is a really good example. Thank you. Uh, sing okay. it, right? I always feel good. Thank you. Uh, we have also a Mercedes. Mercedes, I see you are ready. Tell me. My my mother usually gets food takes. She gets food food cake food take. Oh, okay. Like ah, all right. So that would be a pain in her foot. Okay, or you can say uh, her foot hurts. Okay. Well, thank you guys. Well, and in this part, hemos revisado un par de enfermedades o health problems that are the most common, all right? Something very important is these. Ache, no se le puede agregar uh, todas, all right? So we don't really add to every single part of the body. The most common are like head, headache, back, backache, ear, earache, tooth, that would be toothache, all right? But there are different ways to express a uh, dolor, all right? Si hablamos, por ejemplo, de las piernas, all right, tengo dolor en las piernas. So you can say, for example, my leg hurts, okay? Or we can say, I have a pain. I have a pain. You can see this in the chat. I have a pain and then I have a pain in my shoulder. I have a pain in my chest. I have a pain in my leg, okay? So I have a pain, yo tengo un dolor. That's a way to say it, all right? Or uh, later, podemos buscar un, un poquito también de cómo utilizar hurt, okay? Like, that's another way to express pain as well, all right? So right now, solamente hemos visto los dolores más comunes, the health problems that are the most common, okay? But of course, los invito a poder eh, leer un poquito, read a little bit more um, vocabulary, right? To express pain as well. So, hemos completado session number four, that is uh, up to exercise 2.4 in the platform. Continue practicing, all right? And uh, I will see you on Monday, all right? So, thank you everybody for being here. I will see you on Monday. Have a really nice weekend. Enjoy it. Okay, thank you. Equal. Bye.